This is Brother Dan on the Rector's bus. Friends, there's a coming a day when we're all going to meet a holy God one day. And the way that you're going to know if you're okay to meet this God is if you look at yourself through the Ten Commandments of God's holy law. The ninth one says you shall not lie. So if you tell one lie or you tell a hundred lies, you're still seen as a liar in the eyes of God. The eighth commandment says you shall not steal. So if you steal one thing or ten things, you're still seen as a thief in the eyes of God. The seventh commandment says you shall not commit adultery. But Jesus said if you even look at a woman or a guy to lust after him or her, you commit adultery with him or her in the heart. So just by those three out of the ten commandments, if we stood before a holy God, he would see, her, he would see us as a liar and a thief and an adulterer at heart. And we'd be guilty. We all know we'd be guilty. The Bible says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So, we all be guilty when we stand before God and you give us the punishment of our sin, which is to be hell. We all deserve hellfire for our sins because we sin against the Holy God. For God desires none to perish, none to go to hell. So that's why he sent Jesus Christ, who is God in the flesh, to take on the sins of the world so that we can be reconciled to a holy God. Now, the only way that we can be reconciled back to a holy God is through repentance and faith. Jesus said you must repent. You must believe on the gospel. Repentance is a change of mind about sin. And faith is trusting alone in Jesus Christ and turning away from your sin. That's what you must do to be forgiven. So repent today and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. I know you enjoy your, your sandwiches, your fat elves, your fat cats. But I just want to give you a message. You know, it's like a, a movie and a dinner. All right? I'm here to love you, to warn you of something important. It's called sin. And we all broke the laws of God. And the Bible says the wage of sin is death. And every one of us deserve hell. The Bible says the wicked shall be turned into hell. That's a scary thing. If you're wicked, God's going to have to turn you into hell and then cast you into hell at the great white throne judgment. You can read about that in Revelation. All right, chapter 20, verse 15 to 19, I believe. I could be off. But you know, when I love you, to warn you, there is a wrath of God. And things are abomination to God. Even lying. One time is an abomination. A lying tongue, a haughty look. Checking out a woman. Checking out a man. Jesus said you commit adultery in your heart when you do those things. And if you die doing those things, you're going to wind up in a place called hell. You're going to wind up in hell. You know what kind of people are going to be in hell? Homosexuals, drunkards, liars, thieves, atheists. All those people are going to be in hell weeping and gashing your teeth. But God provides a way out. He sent His beloved Son to die and redeem and purchase those that belong to Him. He came to purchase. He died on the cross. Why did He die on the cross? Is to redeem His people to Himself, to pay for their sins. And His name is Jesus. And he died for sins. God demonstrated His love to us while we are sinners. Christ Jesus died for us. Amen. He died for his elect, the sheep, so that you don't have to go to hell. So my hope and my message to you is that you repent and you cry out to Jesus and have life and hunger for him and thirst for him and have everlasting life. God bless you.
You know, Jesus Christ is the only one who dealt with the issue. He dealt with sin at the cross 2,000 years ago. He took man's sin upon himself so that we might be made the righteousness of Jesus Christ. And simply by putting your faith and trust in Jesus Christ's finished work, Jesus hung on the cross and before he gave up his spirit, he said, it is finished. He secured the means for salvation to all those who put their trust in him. Don't put your trust in yourself, your own righteousness, your works. The Bible says our works, our righteous works are filthy right. Our own righteousness is not good enough. Only Christ was good enough. He fulfilled the law perfectly. He kept the law perfectly because he was God in the flesh. God himself became his creation so that he could take upon himself sinful flesh, yet without he had no sin. But he came in the likeness of sinful flesh so that he could be our substitute. So that he could die in your Bible. It isn't a book of riddles. It isn't a book of contradictions. It makes total sense. God will open, will open the way for you because the Bible says that all scripture is God breathed. And given by inspiration, was written through the hand of men. Holy men were moved Can you, do you, by God's hand to write this book. We got this. All oh, scriptures thanks, God breathed. Do you, do you think the Bible says, For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharp than any two-edged sword. Here's the means that dividing asunder of soul and spirit and joints and marrow. It is a discerner of the intents and thoughts of the heart. There is no creature that is not manifest in his sight. All things are naked and open to the eyes of him whom we must give an account. Yeah, they My friends, they have to pay the fine. This is I would say that's probably about true. accurate. You've all heard about Jesus being peace yeah, love. Jesus Christ is either going to be your savior, your I lord, your best said friend that now, like or one day he's going to be your judge. Someone said that five percent of people are, God of the universe, are truly born again. Five percent of Christians. Today is your day of salvation. Today is the day. Don't harden your hearts anymore. Turn to Christ while you can. He who saves his life will lose it, but he who loses it, Jesus says, for his family. I pray that God would give them peace. Call in the name of Jesus to be saved from the wrath of God. Him who knew no sin became sin. God bless you. I'll see you later. Call in the name of Jesus. Only Jesus can save you from the hellfires, the flames of hell. Or else you will pass in hell if you continue to Yeah, just in case, like, if there's altercations of cops going me stuff like that. Yeah, just to make sure, just to protect us. That makes sense. I was wondering if you were just telling me, like, a guy. Oh, no, I'll tell him. Oh, yeah, I can tell him. I'll tell him. I'll tell him.
That's right, exactly. Every 13 minutes, somebody will die in a car crash. Every 13 minutes, somebody will die in a car crash. Every 13 minutes, somebody will die in a car crash. Every 13 minutes, God has appointed men once to die, and that is the judgment. We're all going to stand before a holy, holy, righteous God. The Bible says that the eyes of the Lord are in every place, even the one over evil and good. Many of you will come out tonight and you will enjoy this beautiful day. Air in your lungs and think you'll, you'll become self-serving and think about yourself. But the God of the universe, yeah. you born again, yeah. Only through the power of God. You will die and stand before the Bible says everything you've done in the dark will be shown in the light on judgment day. Many of you are law students. My friend, there is a judge, a righteous, holy judge. The Bible says that God is a just judge, and he's angry at the wicked every day around. If you're smoking marijuana, you're storing a brass from day around. Yeah. But my friend, you will take a wreath of brass, and there'll be weeping, wailing, and gnashing of teeth. Right. So live it up now, my friend. Live it up now. Get your heart to get drunk all you want, but you'll stand before God, and you'll give a count of your life. My prayer to repent of your life to God. Amen. Amen. God bless you. 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 God Lord God Almighty. The Bible says that God is a consuming fire. It's a terrifying thing to fall in the hands of a living God. Listen, God is watching you every day. When you have premarital sex and get drunk, you're throwing a rap before God. Yeah, you're not drunk. I can, I can tell by your eyes. The problem is you're so drunk you don't even know you're drunk. That is sad. That's pretty sad, guys. Right? That's the thing. No drunkard will enter heaven. No fornicator will enter heaven. That's somebody having sex outside of marriage. Yeah. He didn't get drunk. He didn't get intoxicated. He just never drank wine. Anyway, my friend, one day you'll stand before God and you'll get a count of your life. Everyone. Yeah, exactly. I love, see, I love you. Yeah. I love, everyone shut up. Everyone shut up. I, I love you. Need to have Dan, Ryan, and everyone shut up. I love you to warn you, man. That's what I love for me and you. Have you ever felt other, anything other than what you felt for me? Yeah, you have to warn you. Yeah, you have you ever felt other, anything other than what you felt for your wife? Love. I thought I did. Yeah, I see it wasn't really. It was more lust. I agree. I agree. It was lust. I agree. I did too. I did too. I mean, but. After you think you did, you know what the real feeling is. But God brought me to the truth. Maybe God did. Maybe God did. Maybe God. It's not maybe. Yeah, no, 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 no. Fuck it. Yeah. Yes, God did. Well, yes, God did. But it's but but honestly, a girl. I mean, it is based on the girl made me feel love. That I like. I know what love is. I know. I feel the same feeling that you felt. Honestly, I, like I know. You think I'm some. Drunk, I care about you. I listen, care about listen, you, man. I want to see you get saved. You might think that. Listen, 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 listen. You might think that I'm some drunk, stupid asshole. You might listen, listen, listen. No, I see that you're lost. I know, I know. Listen, 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 listen. I want to get saved. I want to get saved. Come on, dude. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Go ahead. I don't think. I don't think those things. Let me talk. Let me talk. Doesn't mean they need to get married. I know that you might think I might go to hell. Whenever it is, but, I, mean, I might really have found the two same guys feeling, and I, I have, I feel the same feeling of love. And I know it is. I know it is. If they feel compassionate, do you think that makes it an idea that you love them? Now I have, because I love them. Now I have, because I love them. That's not true love of God. Listen, uh, you know that. Yes, I love them. That's why I'm going to have sex with them. If you love them, you should wait. That's true love. True love. Exactly, exactly. Honestly, I do. I waited for a year. Woo, spring break! Years. Because, because we were just talking. Yes. Woo! God doesn't exist. I swear to you, sir. I swear to you. I think we'll get married. But you shouldn't have sex too. You get married. It's okay to be gay. I honestly, I'm not gay, but it's still okay. Part of that? No. Stay in my heart. Every, listen, listen, every, listen, listen. Everything in my heart. I love this girl, and I had sex with her. It was the same way as now that I'm dating her. 
Yo, yeah, way to videotape this dude. Are you a Jesus freak like him? He's a born again Christian. Born again Christian. So you don't believe in gay? Well, according to the Word of God, it says that homosexuals will not go to heaven. So you can't find the person you love in a man that's gay. In a man, in a man. No, it's not right. According to God, he says that because he made you with the conscience. What do you feel about the, uh, What do you feel about the kid who just killed himself? I mean, it's a shame of what happened, but uh, he felt like he couldn't go to anybody. If he went to God, they would tell him it's wrong.